I'm going to be doing another Tarvis take on the Ryan Garcia and uh, Tank Davis fight. So stay tapped in. Thank you. I mean, that fight can change like on a daily, you know. I can see both fighters winning the fight, of course. I can see both fighters winning if they do what they're supposed to do. They execute. I mean, it's going to take more than execution. Also, I think this is the fight where... I think both men gonna have to bite down deep, bro. Like, they gonna have to go someplace they really ain't never been before, you know what I mean? Because the stakes are that high. And when the stakes are like that, bro, you know, this shit can end quick, you know, it can be over quick, or we can have an epic, you know, battle, you know, ebb and flow type of battle where it goes down the stretch. But both of these guys have the type of power that if detonated, it can blow up something, you feel me? Ryan or Tank. So they defense gonna have to be intact, but they can't be, you know, hesitant. You know, it's kind of that's the that's the middle ground. You can't be hesitant, but at the same time, you're gonna have to have your swivel on your head, bro. Because you know, any punch can take it off. Those guys gonna be in phenomenal shape. So, you know, uh, I expect to see a lot of exchanges, heated exchanges. You know, I can see both of these guys getting hurt. You feel me? Having to get dropped and come back. I, I can see a, I can see this fight going all kind of ways. I don't see I don't see either fighter dominating though. I, I don't think you know it's gonna be a chess match of uh, you know wills and they all both gonna have to lay it on the line, man. So that's my take, my live Tarvis take. I got one thing about the uh, Benavidez fight in uh, Plant, man, like, hell of a battle. I like that fight. It was a good fight, but that fight could have even been better, man. I, it really, it could have been better because I really believe Kenny Bayless, which is, I think, one of the top referees. He's been proven one of the top referees, but he got off real easy uh in that fight bro with with the way he uh you know handled that fight with never not once calling holding on plant you feel me i think he prevented benavidez from getting a knockout you know he probably prevented you know plant from really having to you know you know fight back you feel me Instead of hold, it could have been a more interesting fight. It could have went, you know, uh, it could have went a different way. You never know if Plant, you know, had his back to the ropes and his butt was on that hot seat. You know, fighters, when they're like wounded, they're dangerous. Maybe if he knew he didn't have to hold, he would have to fight back. He could have did some things differently. But I'm believing from what I saw with him not really gaining control of that fight with the holding you know because even if you hold you you warn a guy a couple of times he's gonna he's gonna fight differently if he's a sharp fighter he's not gonna just continue to hold so he's gonna have to go to other resources and he never was you know told to stop holding when he was blatantly holding the whole the whole fight and i think with them allowing him to hold and get away with it he was able to survive that fight um you know, and and uh, but hats off to both fighters. That's that's just my take and my opinion from having you know the experience I got and being in there. I know if if a referee tell you it's your last time, I'm gonna warn you. You're gonna fight differently. You ain't gonna hold. You're gonna have to fight back and be 
real cagey with when you do hold. You can hold, let go before the ref get there. You know, um, and, and that I think changed the dynamics and the outcome of the Benavidez plant fight. And that's the first time you've heard that here. You know what I mean? And you're gonna hear everybody talking about it now. But yeah, I think uh, he, he he really prevented but Benavidez from stopping Caleb Caleb Plant, which I think everybody went in that fight believing that he was going to get the knockout. I mean, uh, and I think, yeah, if he would have been warned for that holding, he would have got the knockout. He would have got it down the stretch. You've been listening to Tarvis Tate. I'm out having an uh, early dinner, man, at one of my nice restaurants, favorite restaurants. But I'll tap back in, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in.